a story of shocking betrayal as a husband goes on a rampage after finding his wife is having sex with his brother in the back of a car while his mother is just sitting in the driver's seat of that car as if nothing is happening. I saw this story and I was like, holy cow. In the grand scheme of things, sure, it's a nothing story, but it is definitely entertaining. If you're a little um, burnt out on Donald Trump news, the election news, the World War III is coming news, Civil War news, this will make you feel, I don't know, maybe, maybe a little better. Take your mind off some of the things going on. Please do consider following me on X at Third Relify, on YouTube at Third Relify, and on Rumble at Third Relify. I do all of my live streaming on, on Rumble. So while you'll find my standalone videos just the same on Rumble and YouTube, you'll find all of my live streams on Rumble. It's a much safer place for me to say all of the naughty words and cover some of the other stories that I can't quite do on YouTube for obvious reasons. So if you're not on Rumble, definitely maybe do that. So husband goes on rampage after finding wife having sex with his brother in a car as his mom sat in the front. That, that's uh, how New York Post has headlined that. A furious husband has been jailed in Australia after going on a rampage with a shovel after he busted his wife having sex with his brother in the back of a car. Now that is that is already the 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 the, the ultimate in betrayal, not just from your spouse who, you know, never supposed to do that kind of thing, but also betrayal from your brother. Your brother isn't supposed to hump your wife. David McCulloch, 41 years old, pleaded guilty last week to the violent attack after catching the duo romping in in the vehicle in Tasmania in March. This is the second video in a row where I've covered some crazy, crazy stuff taking place in Tasmania. If you haven't watched it, the the other video is 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 about the man and the woman who who did a sex act with a fish, a live fish on a boat and recorded it. And that video went viral around the world called Clout for Trout. Don't look it up. It's bad news. So something's going on in Tasmania. <laughs> oh, goodness. So uh, the bizarre ordeal unfolded when a suspicious McCulloch tracked down his spouse, Jacinta King, after she failed to answer her phone multiple times. The Bernie Supreme Court uh, heard it during his sentencing hearing. So he's looking for his wife. Calling her, calling her, calling her. He obviously has suspicion. Something's not, maybe not quite right. He's calling her, he's calling her. Nothing. She should be answering her phone. She's not. What the heck is going on? He found his wife of six years with whom he shares four kids in the back of the vehicle with his brother, Jamie McCulloch, in a parking lot close to his sibling's apartment building. I mean, I'm not entirely sure how he how he found the vehicle in a in a parking lot. Maybe he has his wife on on like Google Maps or whatever. You know how you can share locations with your spouse. Maybe he has that. Shockingly, his own mother was sitting unperturbed, just fine. Her son, just two feet away thrusting into a woman that is married to her other son, and she's fine with it. It's fine. It's all fine. In the driver's seat, when the pair were caught in the raunchy act, the court heard. So, he stumbles upon them in the parking lot, his brother thrusting into his wife. Mid-thrust, he's like, whoa, my wife and my brother. This is the ultimate betrayal what has happened here? Oh, my heavens. Oh, my God. Mom? Mom, why Why are you here? So then at that point, he snaps. Absolutely just 
snaps, becomes furious, enraged. And enraged, McCulloch immediately started punching his brother in the chest and body before repeatedly striking his wife in the head. I mean, how, how many of you right now are thinking, yeah, that's, that's fair. It's reasonable. It's reasonable. Now, I mean, some people might say that there's, that there's, no, there's no reason to hit a woman. And then, like the old Bill Burr set uh, um, a joke goes, really? You're telling me that there's no reason ever? Like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. You could wake me from a drunken stupor. I could still give you like nine. Well, here's one. Here, here, here's one reason to hit a woman. <laughs> oh, goodness. The jilted husband then grabbed a shovel from his car and started beating the pair with it as he shouted he was going to kill them all. So obviously. He's uh, he's a little upset. He's a little hurt, devastated. And, um, you know, who wouldn't be? At one point, McCulloch smashed the shovel so hard it broke in two, the court heard. His mom tried to intervene, and of course she would. She'd be like, oh, no, stop. Stop, you're hurting them. Well, yes, that's, that's the point. That's the point. It's, it's retribution for, for, you know, Rusting into my wife, that kind of thing, right? Anyway, so mom tried to intervene, but he ended up he ended up pushing her into a nearby trash can. Because obviously that's what at the, the, this moment is what he thought of his family. They're all garbage. Into the trash can you go, mom. That's where you belong. McCulloch's wife and brother were both hospitalized with minor injuries from the attack. During his sentencing last week, the judge acknowledged the saga must have been upsetting. <laughs> uh, I'd say. I'd say upsetting for sure. Uh, for McCulloch and described it as a breach of trust between family members. I accept it was an emotive response to the circumstance you discovered. Uh, just as Tamara Jago said. Maybe, maybe that's Yago. I don't know. McCulloch ended up pleading guilty to a slew of assault charges as well as possessing cannabis and possessing a firearm and ammunition. He was sentenced to three years in prison. So this this just happened. He just got this sentence. Uh, so he had a firearm and ammunition, and he only decided to beat them with a shovel. Now, don't you think that's using a little restraint, I think? This could have ended totally different. In fact, some of the comments here say, some would say he showed remarkable restraint, considering he, he was also charged with possessing a firearm and ammunition. Yes, that's exactly my point. Many of these comments don't even actually blame the, this, this fella for doing what he did. I can't blame him. I hope his sentence is suspended. How do they even fit in the back seat? But yeah, that's that. Husband goes on a rampage after finding wife having sex with his brother in a car, in the back seat of a car, as his mom just sat in the front seat, the driver's seat. So I wonder how that went. Did It was in a parking lot near the brother's apartment. Why didn't the wife just go into the brother's apartment? Why did the mom have to be there at all? If there's little little things about it that it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Three years in jail for that. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope I've taken your mind. Uh, I've I've taken your mind off uh, some of the the uh, the things going on in your life. And uh, yeah, let's let's be grateful that we none of us are these people. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>